South Africa's coastal zone provides great opportunities for tourism and socio-economic development, provided that this development is sustainable and that our natural assets are protected. Coastal engineers such as the CSIR's Andre Tron assess the impact of proposed developments in our coastal areas. They study the shoreline, winds, waves, tides, currents and sediment transport and predict the impact of man's proposed structures on the natural dynamics of these phenomena. Others focus on the actual construction of coastal structures, such as harbours, to ensure that they can withstand the forces of nature. Coastal engineering is a specialised field of civil engineering, usually civil engineering, sometimes also mechanical engineering. It's closely related to port and harbour engineering and marine engineering. Coastal engineering uh, involves the study of the natural processes in the coastal zone, in other words, the winds, the waves, the tides, sediment transport, the dynamics of the shoreline, how it is shaped and formed, how it responds to structures or interventions by man in the coastal zone, and conversely, the impacts that our interventions in the coastal zone can have on the natural processes. An example of such studies are uh, looking at the impacts of sand mining and dams in the rivers on the coastal sediment budget. In other words, in the long term, the stability of the shoreline, how that might be influenced by the reduction in the yield of sediment to the coast. This is for the KwaZulu-Natal province, uh, where we found that in fact the mines and the dams have a big impact in the long term on the amount of sand coming to the coast by natural means. Another example of coastal engineering is related to the design of ports and structures such as these. Uh, physical models are built to examine the forces of the waves and to design these structures properly. Coastal engineering is important because it contributes to sustainable development of the coast. There are many examples of developments in the coastal zone that are not sustainable in the long term and are affecting the natural environment adversely. Examples are the destruction of dunes, which are the natural protection of the coast against storms. Uh, other examples are, for example, harbors and ports that uh, disrupt the natural transport of sediment, and therefore this has to be re reinstated artificially by means of a sand bypassing scheme. In many cases, the biggest asset of a city is its beaches. These have to be fed by the natural processes of sand transport, and these can be disrupted by many inappropriate developments along the coast. To be a coastal engineer, you have to be adept in mathematics and in physics, and obviously have an interest in the sea. Additional subjects that are of benefit are engineering, drawing, and design. To become a coastal engineer, you first need to do a degree in civil engineering. From there you can then specialize by doing an M or a doctorate in coastal engineering. The CSIR is a good place to work as a coastal engineer. The work is always interesting and you always learn something new. It is never routine. It gives you the opportunity to meet a wide variety of people and a broad field of expertise from many different disciplines. In addition, you can work in the field in very interesting and beautiful environments along the coastlines of the world.